news is so good. I feel like I can't be in the same world that I went to sleep in and woke up this morning and I'm in an alternate universe. We have watched from abroad and we find it very disturbing that some politicians have chosen to undermine public education rather than adequately invest in schools and kids learning. Mr. Ingram says that the sure. EFT has observed that some Jamaican politicians are undermining public education. Talk it, Marina. We stand by you and demand the government meet the agreement to award teachers overdue back pay and benefits. It is no more, no less than what you truly are owed to and for your years of dedicated service to the community. Secretary Treasurer of the American Federation of Teachers, AFT, Frederick Ingram, says that Jamaica's teachers deserve better treatment from the government. Of course. Mr. Ingram was speaking Monday morning at the 59th Annual Conference of the Jamaica Teachers Association, JTA, at Royalton the Grill in Hannibal. We don't need that far enough to tell you that. I to declare the AFT's solidarity with the JTA in your desire to have the government live up to its promise and meet its obligations to support teachers in this country. You yes. all deserve more. Sure. You all should be better in the eyes of the government here in Jamaica. Yes. We have watched from abroad, and we find it very disturbing that some politicians have chosen to undermine public education rather than adequately invest in schools and kids' learning. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, so when you hear the people from foreign, that are the teachers' federation, I talk to them, they are foreign and I watch how the government are treat the, the, the teachers. Them. People, I tell them, say, enough people from foreign are watching, enough international people are watching, and that's why we have a continent attack and bring everything to light so that they can see what I go on. The people, them say, they are watch and see what I go on. What else are they watching? The government not taking care of the, the, the teachers and they, the politicians, are undermining the education system. The politicians are undermining the education. Those especially who are the ministers of education. Anybody know about anybody that are older that minister of education since recently? The lady, maybe the last couple of terms? Me on go look at one article and we are going to talk. Watch what I go on. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, take a look on your screen. So the article what I talk about, and as I can see, the article come from Gleena. This was in 2016. And as I can see on the screen, where I read through fear, the topic says migration of teachers impacting schools severely. This was from 2016, you know, they might talk about it. Who was the minister from 2016? Well, let's go on. The situation must receive immediate attention. And I am recommending that who... Prime Minister Andrew Olness resign immediately as Minister of Education. He does not have the time to deal with education. This is what the man is saying. No? I believe this man was a JTA president you know, from 2016. You know? Andrew, them know as a teacher left. You know? And them not do nothing about it. You know? And say Andrew Olness is Prime Minister. Now, you know? He might take over every ministry. You know? And see the situation get worn and balloon and I'm own ministry. Them did tell them know about it. And them did a plan feet. And if them man know about it and a plan feet, oh no, no um in the system my back of the class uh, uh, uh back of the class and on a subject. Like up the video for my viewers and subscribers, like up the video. Oh no see why the man from foreign said that the politicians are undermining education. Only see why the man's politicians are undermining education. And Olness was the previous education minister. And he did know the rate of the migration of teachers. Them don't do nothing about it. Now it gets worse when the teachers them move because them throw water in the teacher them face. I expect the teacher them to stay. When the teacher them are demonstrating a road with black card in the hat sun. And then every teacher's them. Two years, them said them know about it. They're my dons. Listen to this. The Bank of Jamaica predicted this development well over two years ago. People will enter and leave the labor force if they are encouraged or discouraged by the incentives that are there. And we are. People are disencouraged by the incentives that the government basically give them. The government take 200% increase to themselves, give the teachers them about 5% increase. 
that discourage them and them decide to leave. I uno had the problem at that one for realize I uno say one know about this from two years ago say short teacher go come and uno start fill the gap from them time there. I be back at the class business and I go on with you know. Be here back at the class business and I go on with. <coughs> My viewers and subscribers, uno listen to this a bang around we go go on. Me I go show no how long it a go on and who are the cause of it. Watch what you are go on you now. Sonia Harrison says uh, several public school teachers continue to face challenges with the salaries being paid to them by the Minister of Finance and the Public Service. She was speaking. Well, and uh, so you mean for say the country have a shortage of teacher and enough teacher runway, and the little bit of teacher were left the government till no one pay them. Only the system doesn't mean the, system, the education system is not good. Only the system for yourself. Listen, because I'm going to show you one article of my fine. And we're going to say who is responsible from all along. Watch us see what's going on. We're the journalists during the JTA's 59th annual conference in the grill on Monday. It's still a work in progress. There are still teachers who have concerns about what they receive. Their salaries still moves each month to a different figure. Um, in our technical meeting, they did say that um, perhaps by December we should see some tapering off of same um, and for normalcy to return to the pay stub in a systemic way. Um, we, we are waiting to see same. Mrs. Harrison says that the finance ministry has promised that the issue will be resolved by the end of the year. She's encouraging teachers who are still facing challenges to get in touch with the union to have the matter resolved. So I encourage my colleagues always to go to your regional offices, make the necessary inquiries, and where they continue to experience challenges, that they come to us, their union, so we can do further checks and balances and to do our necessary intervention through the work of our liaison officer and our, our regional officers. That's Sonia Harrison, president of the Jamaica Teachers Association. In the meantime, now, the Bank of Jamaica BOJ is urging employers to look to retirees and other Jamaicans voluntarily out of work as a means to boost their labor force. Deputy Governor for the BOJ, Robert Stennett, says new strategies must be employed to attract more workers. In terms of the potential policies that can be deployed to address it, I guess there's a wide range of issues that are floating around that the government can consider, but for here and now, our hope is that they will be deployed. I mean, the one thing I would say is that what has been encouraging in the statistics is that uh, quite a few people came from outside the labor force and got jobs in the present, in the current employment report, but there's still scope for even more of those persons to come back into the labor force. Um, there's a wide range of persons who are retired, who their if the incentives are correct, they may be able to come back in and provide expert resources for the labor market. Jamaica. You see what going now? So them run with all of the civil servants them and now pay them good. No them shot of people staff in a school everywhere. They might talk about job back for the civil servants and the retired one them. When the people them supposed to arrest, who now disturb them. When you see the government are judgment, I'm going to show the people that, you know, I'm going to talk. Hold on. Because unemployment rate has hit a historic low of 4.5%. An employment or unemployment rate below 5% is considered by many economists to be indicative of full employment. However, this means that there is now a potential lack of labor to drive further economic growth. This news is so good. I feel like I can't be in the same world that I went asleep in and woke up this morning in. I'm in an alternate universe. Hi, everyone. By now, you would have heard the great news. Jamaica's unemployment rate is 4.5%. That's the lowest unemployment rate in the history of Jamaica. We are now close to full employment. As Minister of Economic Growth and Job Creation, this is the best news that our economy can have. It means that our economy continues to expand, but what really means is that more Jamaicans have income. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, like and share the video for me, please. Like and share the video for me.
for the family please the prime minister said that the economy is expanding that means that more people have income so if more people have income why is it that the people from the u.s said that them watching you know them said them staying from abroad and them watching you know so if there's more income and the teacher them now get it where is the money and your word say it, you know, you say that more Jamaicans have income because the economy are going and unemployment, this and unemployment, that. So why so many Jamaicans balling out say nothing not going for them? And most importantly, I'm going to answer the question. You see the picture with Uncle Sam pint and say, watching you? You see the picture of pint, Uncle Sam watch you and him watch favor to the education ministry. Oh, no, don't pay the teachers them. When I have them demonstrating in, in a sun in a plot with placard, when you pay them the mind, take big increase on the serve, give them little to nothing. Now the teacher them gonna foreign, who no have shortage of teachers, and now when I call back upon the poor people them the retired people who supposed to do one with them grandchildren, and I plant up them garden and I do what them do, who no disturb them, but the US is watching, you know. <clears throat> Remember. The U.S. is watching you, Andrew. <clears throat> Andrew, remember, the U.S. is watching you, my viewers and subscribers. Type and tell me in the comment if you agree with me. Say the U.S. are watching him. Him like him, I watch favor to you. So the one if I hear them, beneath the we are, want to stay there. You're yeah, going to get it, man. Don't worry. The U.S. are going to fix your business. Like and share the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Big up on the server from Jamaica Topic. Thanks to everybody for tuning in. Andrew, the U.S. are watching you. And Joe, you as I watch yo.